Hello! My name is Shovel, and this is a precious juggalo. I'm showing you the painting process from the inception until the completion. So first what we're going to do is lay in some white paint. So that's what you're seeing in front of you. A precious juggalo is of course a precious moments figurine that's going to be repainted to look like a juggalo or a fan of insane clown posse. Because why not? You know? These things sit on the shelves of your grandmother's house and they look they look sad and boring. So I take them home into the Juggalo dungeon and I repaint them to be precious Juggalos. On this day, the beverage of choice I had in front of me was a Fago Cotton Candy. Delicious beverage, highly recommended. It definitely got me through the day that day. So we're still working on the white paint on this precious juggalo. This is a first coat of white paint, I should say. It gets more interesting, I promise. A little close-up look after a little bit of white paint's been applied. Talking about the title of the piece there. Getting ready to... Uh, Clean up the eyes, got a little bit of overpaint into the eyes. The best way to clean up the eyes is with a knife. If ever your eyes feel dirty, try knives. They fix them up real good. Back to the painting. Putting on another coat of white paint. Trying to get everything smooth and perfectly white, titanium white. I should say. If you're interested, you can watch me do this live here on YouTube every Monday through Friday, 4.30 p.m. Central Standard Time till about 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. You can watch me paint these pieces in person. Here I'm doing some final passes of white. Oh, nope. Actually, I had the knife. I'm cleaning the eyes again, as one would do. Now we're doing a little bit more paint, a little touch-up. Here's something really interesting. This was really weird. Hey, look at that. That was a delicious German meal that my mom made for us. Uh, and that's me giving it a thumbs up after I was done. Whoa, that's weird. <laughs> what? What in the world just happened? And that happened just like that. Balloons just randomly appeared in my stream. Don't know how it happened. I didn't do it. I don't know. Real, real weird. So now we're working with some black paint. See, I'm doing the rectangles under the eyes right now. If you're a fan of Insane Clown Posse, my default paint is the Violent J face paint. It's just what comes naturally to me. So the majority of my pieces have Violent J paint. I have painted Shaggy 2 Dope as well. It's just Violent J comes easier to me. like I got the uh, nose painted now I'm working on the mouth if you're enjoying this so far like I said you can join me on my live streams every Monday through Friday 4 30 p.m. Central Standard Time to about 5 30 p.m. Central Standard Time I also do YouTube shorts I'm on TikTok. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Reddit, I'm on Discord. There is a Juggalo Discord server that I'm part of. Everywhere on social media, I am Precious Juggalos. So there you can see about halfway done on the face paint. Now we're 
talking on the other side of the mouth. Sometimes it can be difficult keeping everything symmetrical. So I take my time. This is obviously sped up. I don't paint this fast. Come on. Don't be crazy. In fact, this painting is from four different live streams, so about four hours of footage. Simplified down for this presentation for you here. The beverage that day was Country Time Lemonade. Mmm, Country Time Lemonade. Working on the rectangles above the eyes now. I have quite a few figurines like this one for sale in my shop if you're interested. You can get to my shop at preciousjuggalos.square.site. Lots of precious moments pieces like this one, but there's other things as well, nativity scenes other items. All painted with uh, Juggalo theming. On my site everything is uh, priced as you see. There is no shipping and handling charges in addition to the price you see. So no surprises. Working on the black eyebrow paint now. Again, trying to keep everything symmetrical. There's nothing worse than an asymmetrical clown face paint. If you do join my live streams, there's quite an active chat there. It's a good time. I also like to say I'm the Bob Ross of Juggalo face painting. You can come to my streams and participate in the chat, or just watch silently like a creep, or you could just turn it on and take a nap and listen to my soothing voice. I don't care. Just come by, hang out, turn it on, tune out, or tune in. It's up to you, man. So here we go, bringing down the eyebrow paint, down to the cheeks. So now I'm getting ready to paint hatchet men on the little pink hearts. Little tiny hatchet men. I've got my reference material on my cell phone in the upper left. In the upper right, the drink of choice that day, Fago Grape. And it was grape. Fantastic. When I poured that beverage, it filled the air with the aroma of grapes. And it tasted pretty dang good too. Would recommend. So painting that small can be difficult. But with the right tools and the right paint, anybody can do it. Looks like I'm working on another arm on the hatchet man. There you go, a little close up. It makes a lot more sense once it's totally done. Still working on the first hatchet man. Looks like I'm doing the hair. There you go. It's a little hatchet man. How about that? 
took a big ol' sip of that Fago grape before I carried on. Working on Hatchet Man number two now. Of course, as I paint these, they seem to get easier the more I paint them. The difficulty with these is, since there's several of them in a line, you, you want them to look as similar to each other as you can. If you're just painting one, it's not such a big deal. like we're almost done with Hatchet Man number two. There you go, Hatchet Man number two, now done. Gonna do one more Hatchet Man Number three. Here we go. Initially, I thought about painting all six little pink hearts with Hatchet Men. But after I finished these three, I showed it to my wife, and she said that it's best just to leave it every other one. And I agree. I think if I would have painted all six, it just would have been a little too noisy. A little too active. A little too much. But every other heart with a hatchet man? Chef's kiss. Finished with Hatchet Man number three. If you're curious, I am using acrylic paints. That's all I use with my precious juggalos. When I'm done, I clear coat them with a UV protectant clear coat helps protect all the paint, prevent scratches and scuffes, scuffes, <laughs> suppose that's a word now. There you go, a little close-up look. You can kind of tell that the, uh, the black paint on the face is kind of rough. It was a first pass, but now it's time to finish it off. So this is the final pass working to make everything sharp, everything clean, every line crisp. Sometimes I can go back and forth between black and white paint. For hours, even. But this one went pretty well. Not quite there yet. A little bit more work to do. Some of you might be thinking, why would a guy spend so much time on something that's a joke to most people? Well, because I believe in high quality jokes. Only the best punchlines. So I work extra hard to make these Juggalos look good. Nearly there. Back to the knife again, cleaning up some excess paint. Getting 
real close now. So close. There you go. False alarm. A little bit more. Final, final touches. Nice and symmetrical, nice and straight, nice and clean. Just kidding. A little more. A little more touch, but touch, touch up. And there it is. A precious juggalo. Bye.